Have you ever known that someone was in trouble and you needed to help, even if you didn't quite know how? Of course you have. Maybe a kid whose condition requires a life overhaul, or another who's so anxious about going to school that she regularly vomits her breakfast. Or when they both ask, the forests are burning, what happens to all the animals? We often don't know what to do, but we figure it out. We mostly deal with the here and now, but what about hope for the future? Today's young people have inherited a world undergoing mass extinction, where dangerous climate change is a daily reality. My daughters and their friends have trouble imagining a positive future on Earth. A kid can cope with a burning building if you're handling it, even if you're making it up as you go. They need us to act like it's a crisis and handle it. It is a crisis. It can be scary, I know. But we've got this, and you're on the team to do it. Many of us think of environmental action as purging our planetary sins, buying only sustainable things, living without plastic or fossil fuels. But it's impossible to live sustainably in an unsustainable society. Fair trade coffee fuels climate change. Electric cars trigger destructive mining. Sustainable fisheries take food from endangered orcas. As that show The Good Place points out, if getting into heaven were about the consequences of our actions, we'd all be going to the bad place. So we obsess to lessen the harm. I'm like, I'm an eco-hero. I have almost no impact. <laughs> that can't be it. Heroes have impact. So what then is your role? The answer is in two stories involving a Rubik's Cube. Who here can solve one? Nice. But you all can with a little help. I didn't know that. The Rubik's Cube was my nemesis. If I solved one part, I'd mess up another. But five years ago, I decided to learn the cube. I'm used to many-sided problems, juggling work, sleep, and exercise, with feeding, teaching, and nurturing kids. And I was struggling with a parallel problem at work. In a UN-associated report about nature, a team of us was tasked to figure out how to feed and house people with clean water, a stable climate, and healthy wildlife. Basically, how do you achieve that future we want? The answers were in six different fields. Most solved one challenge, but worsened others. The climate solution involved planting trees where they don't belong, stealing land from farming and habitat from wildlife. Growing food took water and polluted it with chemicals, choking rivers and coastal reefs with sediment. And protecting nature displaced vulnerable people. It's not just a climate crisis. It's a crisis of ecology and equity. Meanwhile, I am stuck with the cube. <laughs> my brother-in-law is showing me how to briefly break one side to solve another. At first, my brain breaks too. I stare as the colors whirl around. Tony, you show me that bit again. The magic bit? Oh, it's hard to solve two problems at once, let alone six. I spent weeks learning to think a few sides at a time. Finally, I cracked Mr. Rubik. <laughs> Governments are still working on that strategy with our planet. With laws and policies still rooted in some imagined frontier, different departments address the problem separately. But humanity has expanded right to that frontier. For every side, the frontier is another side, another problem needing a solution. So our team found we can't just grow our way out. Consuming more food, water, and energy will only make everything more expensive. That cube, it's a sphere, a finite one. The world's governments get it, that cube sphere problem. 132 nations signed off on our report and its most controversial findings as their own words. Only transformative change can enable sustainable futures. A fundamental system-wide reorganization, including the economy, paradigms, goals, and values. Government speak. In other words, fix the system to solve the sides together. It was past 3 a.m. when the nations approved this. Their delegations and all of us authors cheered. 
but the nations haven't yet acted on those words. Some declared a climate emergency, but are they acting like it? They talked about urgent transformative change to reverse the nature crisis, but what they did was to start a new report to be done six years later. If governments had this, you could just follow the rules. But since they don't, we don't need you to be that zero-impact grunt where everyone carries a massive but faceless burden that might prop up a broken system briefly. It's a hard problem. But your skills and creativity are key to solving it because you're a special agent. You all have agency over one or more of those six sides needing to harmonize. Health, energy, food and water, the economy, communities, and the environment. And you're all experts in you and those around you, so you know something about shifting norms, rules, and incentives to enable people like you to participate fully in climate action, conservation, and social justice. None of us can do it all, but we can solve it as a community, strategizing and solving together. So I'm working to build Cosphere, a community of small planet heroes. Our job is to enable you, all of you, to find your place in combating this crisis of climate, ecology, and equity. Maybe you're still wondering how you could be a special agent. My wife saw roles for lawyers, business folks, and administrators, just not herself, a teacher. But teachers are playing key roles, helping students come to grips with climate change. And they're connecting university students to high school classes. Through workshops, Cosphere is helping students realize their visions of a better future. My buddy Hussein wondered how he could help as a colorectal surgeon, a poo doctor. <laughs> now he's the director of planetary health, helping hospitals everywhere save the planet while saving lives. He still operates on people's nether regions. We all have a place in this global effort. So now Cosphere's newest squad of small planet heroes is out there having hard conversations with family, friends, and peers. Discussions that lead with love and empathy, but also include a firm resolve, pinpointing private action and system solutions, challenging a parent about bonding over fast fashion shopping sprees, and questioning the notion that our clothes and gadgets are out of style when they're just starting their useful lives. The bottoms are back, again? <laughs> and they're engaging parents about the investments that fuel their college educations and working towards Earth-friendly investing. And having that first talk with a fiancé about turning the water off to lather, and how better water pricing can help ensure that everyone has enough water. We all have special agent roles. Your first mission, should you choose to accept it, is to pledge publicly that you'll be there for young people, joining our coalition to create a better future for all. Politics dwells on our different visions, on what divides us, while big challenges go unconfronted. So we're equipping people to envision a better world and to share their ideas to spark the system changes to enable those visions. So mission two, share your vision and help others. Amplify their voices, like and share their messages, and help them refine their ideas for change. By treating others' visions as worthy, we include, not push away. Mission three, keep learning. This global crisis is too dynamic to use only what we know. Then we'd harm as we help. So this isn't optional. But there are no tests and no Fs, and we have explainers and resources at cosphere.net. Mission four, invite and welcome others. You matter. You belong. And so does everyone. We all care about the future of humanity and life on Earth. We must make folks feel that belonging. Mission five, we make it up as we go. Your task, help us figure it out. It all starts with joining us. Your missions are detailed online. The site won't self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> the future won't be any one of our visions exactly but it will be wonderful, and all the better for the diversity of its architects. 
You are uniquely needed in our community of Small Planet Heroes. Given the crisis of hope, nurturing our children's dreams is caring for the whole planet. You're a special agent in a planetary crisis, and we've got missions for you. Thank you.